Raising cattle, growing grass, and environmental stewardship all go together. Every day, ranchers work to keep the land productive and healthy as they raise great beef to feed a hungry world. And we have two past winners of the Environmental Stewardship Award with us here today. Both Lane Lightsey and Glenn Rao were honored in this way for their care of the land. As past winners of the Environmental Stewardship Award, I'd just ask both of you, what is it that makes you so committed to caring for the land and the environment? Glenn? Well, I think that uh, caring for the land is something that comes natural, something that you want to do. If you take care of the land, it'll take care of you. And I like to have nice looking cattle. I like to have nice looking pastures. I like everything to not only look good, but be good. And if, it, if it's productive and, and works good for the cattle, your cattle are going to look good and, and it's going to be more profitable for you. Outstanding. Lane, what would you add? Why are you so committed to taking care of it after six generations here? Well, I'm like Lynn. I think it comes natural to us, but we live in a culture that really demands it. Um, the world's watching us and uh, perception has become very, very important. So we want to good, do a good job with the resources that God's given us. Uh, you know, we watch things like runoff. You know, we, we've set up retention areas where we catch runoff before it enters bodies of water or streams. Uh, we don't want to uh, do things like over fertilization where we loot. We want to utilize that fertilizer. Um, so there's a number of things that, you know, we can do that, uh, that protects our environment and that lets uh, the people in our country know we're doing a good job to watch after it. I'd say. Dave Dow Agri-Science is, of course, is a foundation sponsor of the Environmental Stewardship Award Program. Why is it that your company continues to be so committed to uh, recognizing folks uh, like these two gentlemen? Well, we would like for the, uh, the minority to have a voice. And uh, these folks really do not seek out attention uh, on their own. And uh, they have a fantastic story to tell. And we like to be a part of helping them uh, tell that story to the greater public. And what does it mean to the industry at large, in your opinion, Dave? It's very critical to the industry at large. As Lane said, a lot of folks are watching. And uh, everybody's interested in making sure that uh, they've got a nice, safe, sustainable food source. and operations like uh, these folks are going to be absolutely critical in delivering that food source in the future. Thank you gentlemen so much for your insights. Now if you'd like to find out more about the Environmental Stewardship Award program including how you can apply for the award you can visit the website environmentalstewardship.org. Now as we wrap up our special program here in Florida I'd like to give each of our guests the chance to share some final thoughts on the value of growing more grass. Pat, let's start with you. What would you tell our viewers? Well, I think that the, um, utilizing a program approach like they've done here, I think this, the operations that, that they have in place where they put um, into practice three years of weed control, three years off, uh, is just a, a model for, for adapting that, that kind of approach or that kind of a system to anywhere in the country. Glenn, give us some perspective from the Midwest. What would you tell uh, some of the fellow ranchers out in the Midwest about how they can improve their forage resources? Well, I think uh, not stressing your pastures and giving some, some rest to some of them so you don't turn all of your cattle all into the same pasture at the same time. Rotational grazing has worked well for us and, and weed suppression, keeping the weeds down so the weeds aren't sucking the nutrients and the moisture out of your ground. And, and if it looks nice, it usually is nice. And I, I like to go by that theory and uh, I try to keep mine where it's looking good and, and you utilize that as, as you can. And, you, and you're surprising when you, when you let it rest, what comes up, native grasses appear, uh, forbs, things that you didn't know were really there. So it's a, it's a good thing. Thanks, Glenn. And Lane, I know here in Florida, uh, it's sometimes easy to grow forage, but it's not just the quantity, it's the quality of forage. Is that right? Well, that's true. Uh... Uh, depleted pastures don't do your cows near the good that a good healthy pasture does and we do that by monitoring the pH of the soil we watch that very closely we check these pastures every year and then we try to get adequate fertilizer out there to make sure they're growing nutritious grass and we use chemical fertilizers to some degree but we got we use more and more biosolids to do that uh, they seem to be very environmentally friendly and they last longer and they do a good job of growing grass and then, uh, and then we stay on top. You, you don't get um, complacent with weed control mm -hmm. because um, you know, we found out if you'll get on top of your weeds, get them suppressed, get them killed, 
then you can come back really with a man on a four wheeler or a small or a John Deere man John Deere Gator and um, and keep up with a lot of these weeds just by spot spraying. Mm -hmm. So it really lo lowers the cost of uh, uh, doing that. Sure. And Dave, I know you're a passionate believer on the value of weed control. Uh, what have you seen uh, producers do, and more importantly, uh, what, what can you tell us about Dow's commitment uh, to, to making real progress in the area of weed control? Well, we've got a tremendous variety of weeds all across uh, the nation. Totally different situations from 50, 60 inches of rain out here to five or six uh, out in certain uh, areas of the country. And whether it's dealing with uh, dog fennel here, Weesatch in South Texas, Leafy Spurge in North Dakota, Medusa Head out in uh, uh, the Pacific Northwest, all different kinds of uh, weed situations occur out there. And you have uh, our promise that we're going to be dedicated to trying to solve those problems for the ranchers. You bet. And you all have done a wonderful job and thank you so much for sponsoring educational programs like this. We really appreciate it. Thank you all for your insights you've shared with us today. Remember, the full range of Dow AgriScience's product lineup can be suited to fit nearly any rangeland or pasture. For help in selecting the best product for your individual situation and management goals, you can visit rangeandpasture.com. And you can view video replays of these and other stories on our website, that's cattlemanatcattlemen.org. And don't forget, you can also watch us on YouTube as well.